John, in the first few minutes, in, in what way did your team execute the way you wanted them to? Yeah. I mean, we, we, Mo took it right at him. We, we saw some holes and some things, and, and uh, we, we made a couple shots, too. Right? And then after that, and, you know, when DiVincenzo made those tough shots, uh, we went dry a little bit. We lost Duncan, and, and when Duncan and Muhammad are in the game at the same time, our offense really flows. There was just, they're just good enough defensively. If you don't execute a few things, now it's shot clock time, and they're really good at shot clock time of just pl good individual defenders. At halftime, what did you tell your guys had to happen in those first four minutes? I, I, was, I, I, I thought that we let down a little bit when, when DiVincenzo made those threes, and it was like, wow, this is going to be this is going to be tough. And then we missed a couple, and our heads dragged a little. I said, we can't do this. We're we're down nine. We're going to make a couple plays. We'll be right back in this thing. But then those first two minutes, you know, we had a tough break, and and we had uh, they made two shots right away, and all of a sudden now it's 12 or 13, and we couldn't recover. You've studied this game for a long time. What is it about this Villanova team and this program the last couple of years that has put them? at such a high level? I, I think their guard play has separated them from a lot. You win, you really win in college basketball now with the three-point line, with the emphasis on uh, non-physical play. Um, you, you, great guards are essential uh, to have, and they have just tremendous, tremendous guard play. And then, they're, and then now you, you throw some big guys that can shoot in there, right? And then Bridges was like, Nobody's talking about Bridges, but Bridges was, he had some daggers against the state. They got a complete team. And, and, and as, as I said before, they, they, would win a, they wouldn't just win in 2018. There's a lot of national championships they'd win if you take that team over the last 20 years and put them in different Final Fours. You told me the ball bounced your way for most of the season. You guys got better. You loved coaching this group. Put in perspective, you know, what this group meant to you. They'll always be a special group because it was one of those, those teams that – you know, we lost. We had some great kids on the team last year, and, and uh, some graduated. DJ Wilson, so fortunate to be drafted in the first round, and we, we were sort of remodeling a little bit down early in, in some guarantee games at the beginning of the year. And it was like, okay, this is going to be a team of growth. But then they just kept growing. I mean, they just and there was and Andy, there was no nonsense. I'm just telling you, even when you have great teams, you'll have somebody miss a class somewhere or somebody just just do something that he's not proud of and and you have to deal with that distraction or you get an injury you get an injury to a key player or, or a guy that maybe is just a key piece and and uh, we didn't have any of that and uh, so we just kept rolling and rolling the kid kept practicing hard because we practice hard and we we'd practice smart and we just kept getting better appreciate it, john congratulations on a great season All right, thanks Andy.